Today's video is all about rigging things. We're gonna start by gooping the truck. So I've got a little problem with my trim. So we're gonna use some of this here goop. Automotive, contact adhesive, best of repairs. Amazing goop. Got it off Amazon. We're talking four and a half stars, people love it. Then we're gonna follow up by trying to mod one of my scooters to be 36 volts, making it a little faster. So the first thing we gotta do, obviously, is we're gonna have to clean up the trim that I'm gluing with the goop because I tried to glue it like 10 times already. It didn't work out too well. Okay, we get both of these tasks done, it's a good evening. That's what I like to do. Set out some goals for myself. If I succeed, it's all good. I can't beat myself up at the end of the day if I got everything done that I planned to do, you know? This is a 2008 Equinox, and uh, it's recently paid off. And my goal is just to keep it around as long as I can, because I don't want to buy a new vehicle. First thing I gotta do is find a piece of wood to go between my fence and this truck. Push this against there. Once we got one of those to fit, then we'll go ahead and goop it and let it sit and start working on the scooter. At this point, I'm really not going for pretty. I just want it to stand so it doesn't look like driving around a hoopty. You know what I'm saying? It's embarrassing. We're gonna give it some time and see how amazing this goop really is. So this here is my cart, which I got two of these for $60. One of them is gonna be the kids. I'm gonna keep it 24 volts. But for this one, it's kind of messed up, but I ordered a 36 volt speed control for it, which should make it go a little bit faster. We're gonna overvolt the motor, it's a 24 volt motor. Yeah, so let's swap out that speed controller. So in addition to popping out the speed controller, I have to put the three batteries in there standing up like this and then go into the cart, which means that it will not technically have a floor on it. But once we get it running, we'll find a better permanent solution, you know. I wish I had my crimp tool. Especially when you do something that's going to be on the road like this, a lot of vibration, you definitely want to get a good crimp on your connectors. But. All right, batteries are connected, three in series. Here's what it looks like. We have topped on the two sides of the batteries. We have two jumpers. So that gives us a total of 36 volts. Okay, so we're just gonna quickly mount these in here and then hopefully she runs. And then we'll figure out how to tidy everything up. All right, so this is a very good sign. We have power. Let's see what happens here. That is way faster. What we need to do is get those in there tighter, maybe some zip ties, and now we're gonna take a spin. I will say that driving this one-handed is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab the GoPro and my daughter. Hey! Yes. Your scooter is ready. It is? And it's quick. Haley's on her way out, but that's what we got right now. All right, so we're gonna switch to the cell phones for this ride. I'm gonna take the 24 volt scooter, but it is gonna take the 36, and we're gonna see how much faster it is. I had to put three batteries in it, yeah. <laughs> what? To make it work, yeah. <laughs> For now, yeah. Oh. Oh All right, so tomorrow we're gonna have to. Uh, 
get like some speedometer app, but this one is definitely a lot faster than the 24 volt cart. Yeah, way faster. Would you agree? Yeah. Successful day, evening. The next day, Let's see if the, uh, if the goop held. That one I JB welded it, it held for about um, three days and then it uh, came on stuck. So I will give an update on the goop.